to the KP testing lab. I'm looking a little cash today, but it's because we're outside the lab. We're going to be experimenting outside. So today, hurry up and gather a muffin tin, some paint brushes, one cup of water, one cup of cornstarch, our good old friend, not sponsored, and our trusty food coloring. Can you guess what we're making today? We're gonna make our own sidewalk chalk. Are you ready to get started? All right, here we are, all ready to get started. I've gone ahead and put my one cup of cornstarch in here, as you can see. I've already taken my one cup of water and I placed it in this container. It's much easier to put the water into the cornstarch. Are you ready? Here we go. A little bit of bubbles. I've got my trusty little stirring stick. And we're gonna just stir it together, okay friends? We don't want it clumpy at all. So we're gonna stir for just a little bit of time. Now the cornstarch will settle on the bottom, so make sure that you get those corners, okay? Can you see that it's a stick it in those corners, make sure we get those corners. Now this is washable sidewalk shock, guys. So if it rains or you wanna get the garden hose and take it off your sidewalk, it will come off. The one thing I will tell you is that it's a little bit watery when you first mix it. And once it dries, it is very vibrant. Okay, guys, how's that looking? Oh, we got one corner left. Now the muffin tin is really easy to divide your colors and it's kind of used as, you know, as an artist palette. All right, looking much better. Check out that consistency. All right, I'm gonna pour a little bit into each muffin tin. I have four food coloring vials that we can use. If we're feeling extra motivated, you can mix colors too. All right, so that pretty much makes about seven, okay? Now here's the tricky part, guys. You're gonna take your food coloring and you're gonna drop it into the container and you're gonna actually mix it in the muffin tin. Now I know that can get a little bit messy, but if you use your paint brushes, it should be pretty good. All right. Now we've used cornstarch and food coloring in the past on the lab episodes, as you remember. So we're gonna see how this works out. Feeling kind of adventurous, feeling kind of motivated today, guys. Put some red and purple, t or red and purple, <laughs> red and blue together to try to make something else, right? What about this one? What colors do you think? really pretty to actually just look at, isn't it? Okay, are you ready to stir? I've got simple paint brushes. We're gonna see how it works. Ooh, we got colorful hands already today. So we're gonna use a simple, pretty much elementary style paint brush just to start off. Okay, mix up our colors. And friends, if you're not scared to double dip, I also have a really nice paint brush too to see what that would look like. I think the whiter bristle is really gonna help us out. Again, guys, it's gonna go on a little bit watery, but you'll see it once it starts drying, okay? Here we go, let's test it out just above our muffin tin and see how it looks. Definitely watery, do you see it? That consistency right there, it's gonna dry so vibrant. You can already tell in the muffin tin just how vibrant it is. All right, let's try our blue. Mixing it up. Oh my goodness, look how bright that is. I also thought about doing a squeeze bottle. I wonder what that would look like. I bet that would be really fun too. Let me check my red. It's looking kind of pink. Yeah, kind of pinkish. You can do really detailed work with a smaller paintbrush. Let's see how my purple turned out, shall we? Ooh, that's pretty. Let me move this over. Go back to purple. Ooh, that's pretty. I 
Again, when it dries, it'll be nice and vibrant. But how fun is that? Let's see if I can get most of it out of my brush. And we're gonna mix in and we're gonna see what the yellow looks like. I love these colors. They're so pretty. I think I love just how pretty they look in the muffin tin. What's a color we haven't tried? This one, right? Ooh, it's like a seafoam green. Oh, that'd make a perfect tree. What do you think? Let's try this color. Oh, it turned into a little bit different. You know, I guess I'm feeling a green theme today. All right, I'm gonna keep painting, guys. We'll come back when it's dry just to show you just exactly what it looks like. All right, welcome back. Look at these colors, you guys. Look at them, how bright they are. You can even do some blending. But this is what we started with. Look how bright and vibrant and gorgeous these colors are. Look at that. I love when you blend them and how they look once they're dry. Now my lab assistants are currently working over here. And look how gorgeous that artwork is. How it blends so, so well. Guys, I think this is a win. This is an absolute win for homemade sidewalk chalk. I can't wait to see what you guys created on your own sidewalks at home. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.